this is very much influenced by uh, uh, Killer B inquiries called Killer B. I recommend everybody to check it out. But uh, this tool, which is meant to evoke, evoke our, basically our ego to, to come out, to be seen by awareness. And in the seeing of it, it, it clears little by little, it becomes less believable. So how we're going to do it is that we are present like this with the eyes closed, just maintaining, continuing in this sense of spacious awareness and just now. And I'm going to say some statements which appear like a positive affirmation. They are, they are good statements. Uh, however, if somehow our ego doesn't agree with it, uh, it's going to make itself known. So we, we, we may have some thoughts or some uh, reaction, some contraction that will come up in reaction to those positive statements because our subconscious rejects it. Our subconscious doesn't believe it. And so I'm saying this positive affirmation not to make us feel good, but more like to be proactive, to allow the subconscious to disapprove and then we can really see it. So the exercise is to just watch whatever comes up. It's as if my words are like some pebble in a pond and there will be some ripples and we just watch the ripples. We watch them, but we don't get involved. Maybe some inner voices, some tightness in the body, something. We just watch for a little bit. Yeah. And uh, then will be another statement. Okay. Just see, stay present and see whatever is appearing in your awareness when you hear these words. You are enough. You are good enough. Will you observe like a scientist, any, maybe the mind will say, no, you're not. You have this problem, you are angry, you are whatever. Observe whatever thoughts, voices, or maybe a little sensation somewhere. What you are is good enough. So we are simply watching like a show. We're not trying to make it go away. We're just aware of, you know, some of us may, it may feel good. Some of us may feel neutral. And some of us may feel like, oh, hell no, no, I'm not enough. Or some memories or some feeling. That's great because you see it now, if we see this, just witness. And, and see it for what it is, you know, it's a voice in your head or it's a sensation. It's not really you. It's a thought, it's a sensation that appears to you. Okay, and we can 
go back to this just being present. Just being present, hear the sounds, feel the contact with the earth. And see whatever comes up as you hear the next thing. You are lovable just the way you are. You are lovable just the way you are. And again, noticing whatever comes up. Like a scientist. Yeah, noticing maybe some inner voices, some reactions or both. Just watch it like clouds. Yeah, and notice also notice the the space in which these reactions appear. Notice the background. We don't try to get rid of these things. The exercise is to watch them. And if we don't get involved, they naturally subside. coming back to yourself, that which is aware. And see whatever comes up next with the next statement. It is okay to ask for what you need. It's okay to ask for what you need. Noticing any new sensations, notice what area of the body, notice the voices. Yeah, don't get lost in, in this uh, spectacle, in the show. Just watch uninvolved, even if there's some unpleasant contractions or feelings, be the watcher. And once again, you can come back to just now, knowing, hearing, sensing, being mindful. And also realize how all these statements, they all maybe evoke something and realize all that appears to you is, is just some sound in your head 
or a sensation in your body or an image. Are you, are we a sensation? Or are we that which is aware of the sensation? So all that appears is not really you. And especially if there are any negative feelings or negative statements like, hell no, no, it's not true, no, you are bad. This is, it's due to uh, unloving childhood, negative situations that created this negative core image that is actually not true, yet we believe it. We believe it as me and as true. So this exercise is to, to see this. And by seeing it, we see that huh, we are more free from it. And in the seeing of it, this negative deficiency identity is it's like a vampire, basically. It's in the sunlight. It's like, oh. <laughs> so let's do some more. Yeah, staying with this aware openness, notice whatever comes up as you hear this. It is safe to be vulnerable. <laughs> safe to be real, vulnerable with my feelings. It is safe to love. Noticing any new reactions, memories, or thoughts appearing in awareness. Also, if things appear in the body, see them, but don't focus into them. And see it for what it is, some energy. And coming back to baseline, just being present. Any residual energies, any stuff, simply just release custody over them, like fishes swimming in the water. Let them be as they are. Give them freedom to move around. It's not you. You are that which is aware of these things and that you are that in which they appear. Intelligent, loving presence that is absolutely enough. It's, it's it's miraculous, actually. It's divine being. We all are children of God. Anything else, any negative story, it's a painful lie. Just be open to this possibility, you know. We believed these lies, these negative stories about ourselves for so long. And what does it give us? Suffering, torture, anxiety. So be open to believing something else and see what happens.
Let's try another one. Now open your attention, come back to this spacious where openness. And see what comes up as you hear this. You are worthy to be happy. You deserve to be happy. Whatever is arising is, is irrational, just be curious, don't judge, don't reject. Just awareing. Some of us may have negative voices, some of us may have reaction or slight reaction, just a pinch, whatever it is. Some of us may feel like, yeah, hell yeah. You know, it's good. Let's do two more. And notice what comes up as you hear this. There is nothing that gets in the way for you to be fulfilled and successful in whatever you put your mind to it. There is nothing that stands in the way of you being successful in whatever you want to do. Just, this is a strong one, this may evoke some stuff. Just observe whatever is being evoked. both thoughts as well as energy reactions in the body. Yeah, whatever is arising in you, let's just check what is here with some thoughts, memories, sensations. Are you this or are you that which is just aware of them? So we can see how obviously you are not an image. The image comes and goes. It's just or a sound in your head, the voice, a thought, or a sensation that comes and goes. So the choice is to stay with what we are not, or to come back to the sense of being aware, coming back to home, to oneself, this presence. by opening the attention and just resting in the now. Whatever energies are going for you, surrender them to the space in which they appear.
Okay, so that was the last one. I just allow this to percolate, all these things to settle. Just be present like at the beginning. Tune into the notice the sense of your own presence. And it's, it's important to, to, to uh, verify that whatever these negative stories, you know, they say you are broken, you are bad, you are unlovable, you are whatever. Who do they talk about? They don't talk about the real you, which is that which is aware right now, your true self. It's they talk about some story that you have. And you know, if somehow some mother or father is criti criticized us a lot in childhood and told us, what's wrong with you? You are so this and so that, you have no choice but to believe this program that I am so-and-so, I'm bad, I'm unlovable. So that's how this, hmm, negative deficiency identity was formed. Not because it is true, but it was conditioned. The real I is that which is unchanging all throughout our life. It's aware divine being. And to say that this aware divine being is unlovable or is unworthy or broken is not only bullshit, but it's like blasphemy. <laughs> so the point of this exercise is that, you know, you can make a mental note or you can do this uh, video later and see which, which one of those statements you had stronger reaction. Uh, this is like, this exercise is like going to a dealership with your car, you know, these modern cars and, and the, you put the cables and, and, the, and then it tells you what are the corrupt codes and tells you what the problem is. So if you hear things like, you are lovable, you are good enough, and it feels like it feels neutral or it feels good, it means that it's fine. There's no, nothing to do there. But if you hear this positive statement in some area and you feel a reaction somehow, it means that, oh, okay, there is a little blown short circuits, circuits in that area. You know, it could be about it's not safe to love, it's not safe to be real, it's unworthy, whatever. So you can just note which area created a stronger reaction, gives you an indication of some subconscious pass, let's say, that you can actually uh, process more. I mean, you can process with someone, with a therapist or something, or you can do on your own. Uh, like you can you can do it, you meditate a little bit and then you just say that statement, just one of them. You say it, oh, I am totally lovable the way I am. And then again will come, oh, no, you're not, look at you, you're bad, it is. And just watch feelings, thoughts, watch feelings, thoughts, sensations until they kind of naturally subside then you can ask it again and then see what comes up. So gradually it will diminish, it will diminish uh, because the subconscious stuff, which is in the back of the mind comes to the forefront and 
our awareness is seeing it and it cannot live in the light. Now, if some is really persistent and your mind says, no, man, really, you are broken, you know, yeah, that needs more, more, needs more uh, deeper uh, cleaning program to challenge those thoughts. And, you know, there are other techniques one can use, like the work, Byron Katie inquiry. You can do that another time. So you can, you know, use this video. Uh, and this is meant to self-process, you know? It's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you.